Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about visualize your logs in Kibana. This is a continuation of my previous video which is install and configure ELK in just three steps. Okay, in this video what we are going to do is this. Okay, we, we will configure Logstash to receive logs from the remote servers or remote devices and logstash will inject data to log logs to elasticsearch database and elasticsearch from elasticsearch kibana will fetch the data and we will do some kind of visualizations and dashboards we we also configure a linux rcs log to send logs to logstash that's all what we are going to do with this session okay so first we we will configure our logstash with a with a input configuration file so i have my repository here and where i have input syslog so i will give the repository link in my description so you, that you so that you can uh, you can look if you want okay or you can download okay so this is my elk server which i have already installed during my previous video running 7.2 and I have all these all the required packages installed and configured okay now let's check our configuration log stash configuration where we need to configure uh, to receive logs from the remote device so this is our configuration I've, I just I just copied the these lines from my github where I have already this the, this is this is the file okay this is the file I have copied here okay so let's explain what what this file will do there are two sections in this file which is one is input and second one is output input is nothing it is how the input is received in logstash okay this is syslog and we receive logs we receive inputs through this port so in the elk server this port will be listening to receive the logs and the type of logs is rsyslog okay and we the next section we use here is output output is wh where we send the data where we send the logs logs the processed logs by logstash so lo this is as i said earlier in my previous video this is a stack where, where we have uh, logstash elasticsearch and kibana so logstack logstash process the data and send data to elasticsearch so that's what we configure here we are sending data to elasticsearch and we need to mention where our Elasticsearch server is. You can have different server. You can have different server, but I have only one server, and I do all this configuration in a single server. And the host host name is DevOps one. Basically, this is the same server, and the port number of default port number of Elasticsearch is nine two double zero. And this is the codec format of the message. This is the format. In this format, Logstash will process the send the data to Elasticsearch. So that's all the configuration. You can have one more section here. There is that is filter. Filter is nothing. If you want to filter out some logs which has some specific pattern or which has program some pro from some programs or from some host, you don't want logs from some hosts. You can send uh, uh, logs from a number of hosts, right? So if you want to filter out some hosts, you can filter out from here itself. So it will not dump data in the Elasticsearch and it will not fill up your database. So I'm you not using any filter here. I'm just processing the data to all the data will be processed to Elasticsearch okay now let's start our or restart system ctl logstash system ctl sorry system ctl restart logstash okay now just check it will take a few minutes to start logstash properly log logstash plain dot log okay it's, it will take a few minutes to start the log stash. Okay, our log stash has successfully started. Okay, now, now let's check whether the ports are listening. Okay, the, this is the port we configured in log stash configuration, which is listening for the logs. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to send logs from a remote server. I don't have a remote server here. So what I'm going to do is I'm configuring uh, logs from the, the RSS log 
of this uh, of the ELK server itself to send data to Logstash. So I'm not you can configure a remote remote a number of remote hosts. I don't have another server here, so I'm just uh, configuring this log of the same machine with, uh, to configure send data to Elasticsearch. Okay. Uh, let me check IP of my Elasticsearch server for I need I need to send. This is the local host. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure our syslog.conf and at the end of the line I'm adding this okay all the logs all the logs will be sent to this IP at port number 10514 so this is basically we are sending data to our ELK log stash at port number 10514 where our log stash is listening and after that I will restart restart logs uh, rsys log this log service okay now it should be sending all the so all the logs to our log stash okay we have done all the configuration part now what I'm going to do is I don't have much logs here so I'm just opening a new session of this and uh, executing one one command which is actually just a su so to to get logs to get consistent logs uh, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to visualize these logs in Kibana. So we need more logs. I don't have much logs here. So I'm just executing this script. This will actually generate some some kind of uh, SEO logs in in our in our logs file. Okay, and uh, I have executed that. And now I'm going to our Kibana dashboard. This is our Kibana dashboard. I'm accessing using the IP of this ELK server and. Uh, this this is the URL. Okay, now I'm going to discover. There are many sections. I will I will explain one by one. First one is discover, and what first of all what we need to do is we need to create a uh, create an index. We don't have any index here, so our first index is log stash, which means this the log sent by log stash. So this is success, which which means that it has already something from log stash. Okay and click next and um, the time based on timestamp and creating this index and creating index pattern okay now what we have done is we have created an index called log stash which is the uh, log sent by log stash now if you go to discover again we have uh, this this is okay and we have this log stash and where we, we are getting getting logs but we are we are getting the logs the since we started the log stash the logs are uh, started um, getting into kibana okay and here i would give a brief, brief introduction here the brief uh, description here one is first one is last 15 minutes okay this is the logs for last 15 minutes you can have 30 minutes or 24 hours seven days five years whatever there are many options here you can explore okay the second one is auto refresh this is the auto refresh i would like to give an auto refresh for each five seconds so every five seconds this page will be refreshed so new data will be coming here so this is the log we are manually generating which is su which is creating an su session the log for that okay this is for just to we we should have a visual nice visualization so i'm just generating it for for that purpose and here we have a new we can have a new this is search item and uh, we have we can save it we can open a new we don't have any new uh, any any other thing so we don't we cannot open anything okay these are the sections and here there are a few things these are actually the fields of the fields of our logs okay log data the interested one is on this message if i click add here the message field will come here okay and the program is good which from which program the logs are coming with most of them are su which is my loop actually okay and uh, we can have a facility there are many things a facility you can explore that and one more thing is log source okay this is the logs i'm adding this okay so if you add it it will come in the top okay and uh, you can have this 
from logs uh, devops one this is my host only i have logs from only from this host i don't have i didn't configure any other host uh, all logs are coming from log devops one and the program and what is the message and the timestamp this is looks good okay and uh, there is one more thing which is very important which is add a filter for example i am going to filter filter program program or program dot keyword both are i think both are same program is kibana so if i saved here so if just wait for the refresh okay so once if you see here we are filtering only the logs from the program kibana okay that's what we program equal to kibana so what i need is actually i don't want logs from kibana rest everything i need which means i am going to edit here and is to is not or is not be, you can have a number of programs in one is one no is or is not one of sorry is not one of kibana kibana is first one or you can have multiple terms here okay save is not one of now if we wait for the refresh all the kibana program has been rolled out so we don't have any kibana okay this is what i need okay i'm going to this is a search item we have created now i'm going to, i we need to save it okay to save it click save button my first search item okay i'm giving like this okay i have saved my first search item now what we are going to do is we are going to visualize the logs we have saved there is the second column which is second field which is uh, visualize here we don't have any visualizations here so we can click here or here create a visualization see there are multiple options many options you you can use for the visualization one is area chart the heat map horizontal line by metric many things and here we have uh, coordinate region map geographical visual builder there are many things here you can explore this i will be giving i i'll be doing working on some important ones which is one is uh, area okay and when i click area this is this is the only um, index we have which is log stash and this is the only search item we have so based on uh, we, from which search item you need to visualize we can choose that okay and i have only one so i'm clicking that one and here we will configure y axis and x axis this is y axis in y axis what we will give is we can click here the count okay the count of uh, actually this is these logs are the log messages what this will do is count of the hits in every in each timestamp okay in the x axis what we will do is date histogram that's it. and timestamp okay in x axis this is timestamp and in each i mean 13 14 and 2 13 16 this is the, uh, the this is the, the graphical view of the logs generated by our our so our elk stack okay okay this is the area chart we can have filters also here like what we did in the search items i don't want much more this is fair enough for me and i'm going to i'm going to save it okay okay when i execute the save is uh, highlighted i'm going to save as my first visualization okay i'm going to save like this now i have a i have one visualization under the this tab now i need one more visualize visualization which is a metric which is much useful i will use this many times okay again the same search item from the same search, search item and this is giving the count count of total hits for last 15 minutes okay you can have uh, many many things here like uh, date date range significant can terms or significant terms if you click here which is basically you can hit uh, uh, count by program keyword how many programs 
okay so from each program how many hits yes you count a network manager like this so th these are there are many options here from by each program and if you want to size to one it will give only the the first highest one okay. if it two or top three if you, for example if you need top three and click run so this is the top three counts from by program basis i would like to save this okay this also save my second visualization okay i saved two visualizations okay now we have two visualizations here what we do with this this is we are going to create a dashboard with the visualizations we have created okay this is the dashboard and here we are going to create a new dashboard and uh, there is an add button here to add uh, visualizations to this dashboard first of all my first visualization okay and this is added here so if you see you can you can uh, scroll it and uh, change it that will do my second visualization and what i need is i also need my search item first search item okay so what we have done here is from the visualization you can add visualization to the dashboard and from saved search you can add saved search, okay so we have added a three three items in this dashboard okay now okay go back this now we will you can edit visualization from here itself okay or, or you can delete or whatever we want we can do this we can position this in a better way i i will do like this this much good and uh, this one this count can be this you can do how you want to see your logs your logs in a visualized dashboard okay this is this is my actual so this is a, this is good okay okay now okay this is uh, this is our first dashboard this is our first dashboard which basically it's uh, it has a minimal very minimal information which is uh, you can have uh, many dashboards pie charts and all to make it uh, very useful and uh, looking very nice in a single dashboard okay this is basic count of uh, our logs excluding kibana okay excluding excluding the logs from kibana i'm going to save this dashboard as my first dashboard dash okay that's all okay now uh, we we can edit from here itself there are many options here for example i need only sorry only uh, there are this is our logs and this is our count of logs this is not very visible but you can adjust your screen if you want and this is the pipe uh, this is the chart area chart i am refreshing every one minute no that is enough or one minute or five minutes is enough for me okay making it to five minutes and now let's check there are many logs from su so i don't want uh, this is a uh, we know this there is no issues with the logs what we can do we can just uh, click the minus filter out the value minus and we we have removed all the logs what we have generated by su that is a uh, we are generating it manually and this is the total hit except that su okay like the like this you can do many filtering here and uh, there are many things many options you can explore by yourself okay friends this is the basic of uh, visualizing your logs i'll be uploading more videos working deeper into uh, kibana and uh, working deeper into the logs curator and all okay guys thank you thank you for watching this video have a nice day bye bye